Lesson 3. Prepare acid, pectin, and sugar mixture. Measure required amounts of pectin, sugar, and citric acid according to approved specifications. Here are the ingredients and their rules. Fruits. Fruit gives each spread its unique flavor and color. It also supplies some water to dissolve the rest of the necessary ingredients and furnishes some or all of the pectin and acid. Good quality, flavorful fruits make the best valid product. Commercially cut or frozen food preserved in its own cheese may be used to make valid products but pectin must be added. If you preserve your own food, use one quart slightly underripe and three quart fully ripe fruit. Preserve the fruit in its own juice and note how much sugar is added to allow for that in the jelly recipe. Pectin, a water soluble substance found in some slightly underripe fruits that causes jellies to set. Pectin is a substance in fruits that forms a gel if it is in the right combination with acid and sugar. All fruits contain some pectin. But some must be combined with fruits high in pectin or with commercial pectin products of obtain health. Because fully ripened fruit has less pectin, one quart of the fruit juice in making jellies without added pectin should be underripe. The use of commercial pectin simplifies the process, but jelly made without added pectin contains less sugar and tastes fruitier. Follow the manufacturer's direction for using commercial pectin and do not interchange liquid and powdered pectin. Some local fruits which have high pectin content are guava, guibano, santol, siniguelas, breadfruit, ananas, and chico. Acid. It makes the jelly firm and rigid in structure and is essential for flavor and gel formation. Gel formation occurs from 2.5 to 3.5 pH. Ideal pH value for gel formation is pH 3.2. The proper level of acid is critical to gel formation. If there is too little acid, the gel will never set. If there is too much acid, the gel will lose liquid or weak. Fruits differ in acidity and if the fruit is for jelly making lacks acid, jelly may be improved by adding commercial citric or tartaric acid or calamansi or lemon juice. Sugar the precipitating agent of pectin causing it to form the network of the jelly. Like acid, it controls the rigidity and strength of the jelly while acting as preservative at the same time. Amount of sugar added depends upon the acid and pectin content of the juice. More acid in the solution, less sugar is required. High pectin content requires more sugar. Adding 3 4 cup of sugar is recommended. Less than this would give lower jelly strength. Always remember to add sugar to the juice before boiling. Sugar serves as preserving agent, contributes flavor and aids in jelly. Granulated white sugar is the usual type of sugar for jelly or jam. Corn syrup and honey may be used to replace part of the sugar in recipes, but too much will mask the fruit flavor and alter the gel structure. Use tested recipes for replacing, replacing sugar with honey and corn syrup. Do not try to reduce the amount of sugar in traditional recipes. Too little sugar prevents chilling and may allow yeast and mold growth. Passive recipes must be used to make chilies without added sugar, and this product usually must be stored in the refrigerator or freezer. Processed food products by sugar concentration. Chunks. Jams are made from fresh or ground fruit and usually have a peak consistency due to high pectin. Marmalade Marmalade is a jelly with pieces of fruit suspended in it. Citrus peel and juice are frequently the basis of marmalade. Preserves Preserves contain whole fruit or small pieces of fruit in a thick sugar syrup. Conserves. Conserves are drums made from a mixture of fruits. They usually contain citrus fruit, nuts, and raisins. Jellies. Jellies are usually made by cooking fruit juice with sugar. Jelly should be clear or translucent and firm enough to hold its shape when turned out of the container.
Measuring instrument used in sugar concentrates. Gel meter. Gel meter is an instrument used to measure the viscosity of a packing solution. Refractometer. Refractometer is an instrument used to measure the percent soluble solids, referred to as degrees fixed, in concentration of sugars expressed in terms of number of grains of sucrose per 100 grams of liquid. pH meter. pH meter is an instrument required to measure the hydrogen ion concentration of a packing solution. Measuring required amounts of pectin, sugar, and citric acid. To measure the required amounts of pectin, we need to determine first the pectin content of fruits. Pectin content of fruits are determined by the following methods. Cooking test, alcohol test, gel meter test, using a refractometer, and using a pH meter. Cooking test. Boil a small amount of juice with sugar. If the mixture gels, then it is rich in pectin. For the alcohol test, mix 1 tablespoon of sugar with 2 tablespoon of denatured 95% food alcohol. The pectin content would be determined by the nature of precipitate. Presence of transparent jelly-like lump denotes that the fruit is rich in pectin. Jelly like cloth is not very firm and is broken into two or more lumps, then the fruit juice has moderate amount of pectin. If the cloth is broken into numerous small pieces or the juice becomes cloudy, then the fruit has juice has very little pectin content. Gel meter test. An instrument similar to a graduated pipette, where the juice of the fruit is allowed to run down the gel meter tube for one minute to test the pectin content. Pectin rich juice is thicker and runs down the tube more slowly than the juice with little pectin. Low pectin juice runs below the one half or half mark of the gel meter after one minute has a low pectin content. Using a refractometer. In using a refractometer, we have to put one or two drops of sample on the PC. Look at the scale through the eyepiece. Read the scale and record the result. Using a pH meter. In some pH meter models, pH values are read directly. Note, the pH plays a critical role in gel making. Pectin can form a gel with sugar only at 3.2 pH. At lower pH 2.5, synergesis sweeping or bleeding will occur. And above 3.5, the gel will not form. Adjustment of sugar and acid concentration In making jam, jellies, and other food products by sugar concentrates, the right sugar concentration is very important. On the other hand, fruit juices must have the desired acid proportion to give the best fruit product. Thus, knowing how to determine and adjust the sugar and acid concentration is very crucial. Bricks or Acid Ratio Bricks Acid Ratio the Briggs acid ratio is the sweetness to tartness relationship. It gives a ratio compared with unity which forms a comparative scale for the acceptability of juice concentrates. The Briggs unit is the concentration of dissolved solids in an aqueous solution or the percent soluble solids. While the acid unit is the concentration of citric acid in the citric juice. Methods for calculating Briggs acid ratio Sugar concentration The Pearson square is widely used method for determining the and calculating the degree Briggs. It is as follows. We write the initial soluble solid, the percent purity of sugar, the desired soluble solid, difference between initial soluble solid and desired soluble solid, and the difference between purity of sugar or the desired soluble solid. The percent purity of your sucrose is assumed to be 100%. If syrup is used, the 
concentration of the syrup will be used. Say is 65% syrup. Water is 0% soluble solid. Given a certain weight of sugar or water, the weight of sugar to be added to a table of hard soluble solid may be obtained by the formula. A over B times weight of juice or water is equal to the required amount of sugar to be added. Here are the examples. Problem. How much sugar is necessary to add to 20 kg of water to make it 35 degree drink syrup? Okay, so here is a given. Percent soluble solid of water is 0. Percent purity of sugar is 100. Weight of water is 10 kg. Required drinks 35 degree drinks. Water is 0 degree soluble solid. The percent purity of your sucrose is assumed to be 100%. The required degree breaks is 35 degree breaks. A is the difference between the initial soluble solid and desired soluble solid. Thus, 0 minus 35 is equal to negative 35 or 35. B is the difference between purity of sugar and desired soluble solid. Thus, 100 minus 35 is equal to 65. Then we use this formula. We write 35 for A and we write 65 for B. We write 20 for the weight of the water or liquid. We divide 35 by 65 and multiply the answer to 20 for the weight of the water or liquid. Thus, we get 10.8 kg of sugar as a desired amount of sugar to be added to the solution. Concentration The percent acid of fruit juices is called the percent titrable acid. Titrable is an important flavor quality factor. The product may be rejected if too high in acid, if too low flavors, is blood and kidney. Adjusting fruit juices to the desired acidity is important. The percent acidity of fruit juices can be determined by titration. Knowing the initial percent acid, the fruit juice can be adjusted to the desired acidity by using the Pearson squid. Percent initial acid, percent purity of citric acid, then the desired acid, and then difference between initial acid and desired acid. And then, difference between purity of acid and desired acid. Example. For the given, the percent initial acid is 15%. The desired acid is 3.2%. Percent purity of citric acid is 100%. And the weight of this is 20 kg. The initial percent of acid is 50%. The purity of citric acid is 100%. The desired acid is 3.2%. A is the difference between initial acid, 15%, and desired acid, 3.2%. Thus, 15% minus 3.2% is 11.8%. B is the difference between purity of citric acid, 100%, and desired acid, 3.2%. Thus, 100% minus 3.2% percent is equal to 96.8 percent. Now we will use this formula. We write 11.8 percent for A and 96.8 percent for B. We write 20 kilograms for the weight of the liquid. We divide 11.8 percent by 96.8 percent thus getting 0.122 percent. Then we multiply the answer 0.122% by 20 kg. Thus, getting 2.44 kg as the required amount of acid to be added. Any question? Take note, respect for food is a respect for life, for who we are and what we do. By Thomas Keller. 
So that's all. Thank you, class.